Hi there, Tony Sycamore here, IG's Market Analyst for Australia. As many would know, the RBA this week raised its official cash rate by 25 basis points to 4.35%. It was the RBA's first rate rise since June. While most commentators were expecting a hike after the hotter than expected quarter three inflation read, It was accompanied by a dovish surprise around the RBA's forward guidance and tightening bias. The changing tone means incoming data will need to be red hot for the RBA to act on its tightening bias. And we think that the RBA, as a result of this shift in tone, has likely finished its rate hiking cycle and expect the RBA to begin cutting rates during the second half of 2024. While this, at the margin, is a positive for the ASX 200, it was offset on Tuesday by a larger than expected fall in China's trade surplus, which suggests that the Chinese economy remains weak. Now, when we look at the charts of the ASX 200, we can start to get an idea of what might happen into year end. I'm going to bring that chart up for you now. Now, when I look at the ASX 200, We'd been working on the theory that it had been trading in a range for the better part of 2020 2023, between 6,900 on the downside and up towards 7,500 on the top side. At the end of October, the sell off which we saw into month end saw the ASX 200 make fresh year to date lows, and we abandoned a tactical bullish bias because it had broken below the reassessment level, which was those year-to-date lows. However, since that point, the ASX 200 has had a much better November, and after closing above 69.50, we do think it's negated that downside break we saw at the end of October. Additionally, when we review the chart of the ASX 200, we feel that more likely it actually has put in place a low within a trend channel. And providing the ASX 200 now consolidates the recent gains And if it were then to close above 7,000, I think that would open up the ASX 200 to test this 200-day moving average, which comes in around 7,200. Now, above there, of course, you have this trend channel resistance coming in around 7,400. And we don't want to get too ahead of ourselves, as always, but we do need to be mindful that a break above 7,400 would probably see a test of the year-to-date highs coming in around 7,567. That's a little bit more medium term, but in the very short term, I like what I'm seeing here. The ASX 200 has consolidated recent gains. It has been supported by the RBA's dovish shift. I would call it a dovish hike. And I think now if the ASX 200 can get above this resistance coming in around 7,000 to 7,010, that would set the platform for further gains into year end. Thank you for listening. 